Well, we are back in Black Powder Red Earth with our PMC friends here. And in fact, we are going to be in Kabul, Afghanistan of all places, trying to extract this asset out of here as quickly as possible. Now, unfortunately, one of our government informants has given away the location of this asset. What we need to do is get here, pick the guy up, and get the hell out of here. Of course, it's not going to be um, an easy mission, but one rarely is over here in the world of Black Powder Red Earth. We've also found out or discovered that this is a jihadist checkpoint. They're probably going to be popping out of this building at some point. So what I'm going to do is actually split the team here. We're going to send two of our boys this way. I want to make sure he's also looking that way. And we're going to send two of them this way. Now, I can also just go ahead and immediately turn on the kinetic interrupt which would allow us to pretty much have overwatch fire, but I'm not going to do it yet. It's just a little too early in the match, and we still have a lot of work ahead of us. There is a chance that that's an enemy, but we still don't know. So let's end the turn here, turn it over to the Islamic Emirate, and let them do their turn. And again, this could end up being a guard, or it could end up being nobody at all. Clearly, the fact that he's coming out of an insurgent um, location is not good. With minimal activity, Jihadist Foot Patrol shut down for the night, preparing for the next martyrdom or operation. Now, hopefully, if things remain like this, we're not going to have to deal with too many enemies. That's what I'm hoping for, although, of course, that's not always the case. Now, we're going to push forward here. I see an enemy right there. Well, I, I see something right there, and it looks like a civilian. So I am actually going to go ahead and push forward at personal risk to myself. Now in this game, you know, it's very open rules of engagement. If you want to take out that civvy, that's completely up to you. And certainly nobody would fault you because for all we know, this guy is going to call in the Taliban and completely destroy us and our men. So what I will do at the very least, I'm going to see if I can't send a text to this guy. But actually, what did I just discover, guys? This guy is a terrorist. I don't know if you guys can see that um, through the building. I see him carrying an AK, so I know he's a target that needs to be dealt with immediately. Hopefully, he doesn't give us away. Let's go ahead and open fire. First target down. We're also getting very close to this Emir, and believe it or not, he is part of the Northern Alliance. Wants to get out of here and potentially help us to fight the Taliban a little bit later. But that's going to take some time, and obviously we need to get this guy out of here very quickly. Now, as for the NPC to ping, um, this will pretty much keep that NPC, you know, pretty busy for a while. So we might as well just go ahead and ping the closest NPC. Um, I'm going to leave this guy here. No need to really move him this turn. Grab this guy and put him over here this turn. Now, if I wanted to be extra safe, I could go ahead and tag him. But let's approach this at least somewhat with caution. We're not going to shoot at civvies. We're going to try to, you know, not be weapons free when it comes to the local population. Let's simply continue. Now, one thing I might be able to do is just go ahead, push this guy forward um, and minimize the chances of that civilian looking over here. He might just, of course, walk back and go right back to the location he was at before. Okay, ending the turn. And again, really hoping that we get lucky here and we don't get spotted. Now, we do have contact. I'm going to give peace a chance. And I think that was the right move, although it looks like pop shots and the hiss of drone overflight spin up the jihadists, fighters of the Islamic Emirate, and local national non-combatants take up to three actions this turn. Obviously not great for us, and for all we know, that civvy has already called them in, but I'm not going to do anything as of right now. What I am going to try to do is take out that insurgent directly in front of us, clear the path for extract. We'll take him out. Nicely done, boys. And at this point, we'll meet up with the Emir. Let's see what he wants to do. All right. Now, we're very lucky because in this particular fight, the actual exfil location is quite close. So we're going to push forward, although the last thing we want is for this guy to get killed as he's walking to an exfil location. So I'm going to push forward with our soldiers first. And kind of just watch our back, pretty much. Keep him in the middle of this cordon. All right, guys, there we go. We also have a drone strike. So just in case the enemy gets really crazy, starts rallying some fighters, we can call in that drone strike and take them out. But getting out on this location is going to be extremely important. We can't be stuck in this neighborhood or else he has no chance. A local national has captured video of the kinetic force with location and timestamps placing them in the area of operations. Time now. Bad news, guys. And look at that. 
terrorists actually stepped out of the building and immediately began to engage. We have to engage all threats. We're going to use that kinetic force and try and get this fellow out of here very quickly. Now, for all we know, that civvy could go and get a gun. Things do occur in this game like that. So, for instance, he could run into a building, get a gun, or just suddenly pull a gun out. Um, so we do have to keep that in mind. Now, the Emirate is definitely aware of our activities. We've got to get to that point quickly. Um, but, of course, we also want to do this the proper way because it's very easy to have this guy just get shot and suddenly we have a mission fail. Let's push forward. All right, a pair of jihadist fighters actually just stepped out of this electronics store. So, as you can see, the fight is nowhere near over, and they're probably going to cause us some issues or some problems here. So, we just want to be prepared, kind of looking in their general direction. Um, I'm going to move this guy up as well and do the same thing. We don't have our kinetic force multiplier, so we have to be specially careful. In fact, I'll keep this guy right here. If the enemy comes from behind us, though, then we are absolutely toast. So, you know what? Still pretty risky, but I'm going to keep him over here by the tires. Uh, and I'm hoping this way at least he's covered from both sides, unless, of course, the enemy runs through here, and we should be able to extract that target. Just when you think things are getting simple in the game, it throws a curveball. So let's see how these guys want to play it. It's down to them, and sure enough, man, my worst nightmare confirmed. They are popping ahead of us. They might even fire off some shots at our team. And again, they could potentially even kill our Emir right there. I think he's behind the proper cover, though. And we might get lucky here. They might not have any actions this turn. But look at that, guys. A local national asset employed by our client has provided intel on our operations to a known Islamic Emirate facilitator. Now that everything's falling apart in the country, he doesn't give a damn. He's trying to save his own life. And I don't think he's even going to succeed at that. The fact being, though, we've now got quite a few Islamic Emirate fighters all over the damn place. And we need to get to that extract very quickly. So I'm going to take our fighter right here. Shoot this guy. And who knows, we might need to go weapons hot on other targets as well. Um, it's really going to depend on how it, how things go. Um, we should have another action to fire here. But we do have potential or additional enemy targets right there. And the fact is, guys, we need to move quickly in this mission. We can't just hang around and hope for the best here. We need to get off the ground no matter what. So I am going to call in that wonderful drone strike directly on top of this target. And let's hope that we don't have to worry about these guys anymore. I hope there's no residual damage. But you never know. That civvy, assuming he is a civvy, just got unbelievably lucky. We completely destroyed that group there. And I'm simply going to push forward to the extract. As you can see, though, now um, they're pretty riled up. They definitely know that we're here. And they're going to do everything to cut off our escape. So actually, we may have been better just kind of holding off. We could tr start to engage these guys. But I think I'm just going to move forward. Um, let's just push forward at this point. Actually, we can't push forward there because we will be spotted. We're going to have to play this really sneaky. In fact, I'm going to put the Emir right in the middle. So at this point, we really are providing a human shield to the Emir. Let's do something like this. And we could fire with Ember 1-2, but it would risk him, of course. It would, however, potentially save the rest of the team. It's one of those situations that makes you question how you would approach the situation. Well, this guy is also able to fire one, I believe. We're going to engage. We're not leaving our boys behind like this. Uh, we're not going to let them try and route us. And in fact, this is a jihadi checkpoint. Let's start wasting them. One down. The one closest to us. I'd like to get their attention over here. Now, unfortunately, we have suppressed weapons. So we're not exactly going to get their attention if they didn't see their buddy there go down. I'm going to have to grab that second Merc. And I am not stopping. Let's also just hope that this guy doesn't put up, pull out a Kalashnikov anytime soon. Get him. Shot missed, guys. Really bad news there. I'm going to try to at least keep that guy safe and get the hell out of here. You can't save everybody. Let's end the turn and let's hope that we can at least save our main target. All right, Insurgent firing at Ember 1. This is our veteran team leader, too. I really don't want him going down. But whatever happens, happens. 
I don't like how this city is hanging out way too close, but now we've got some more enemies pushing up over here. Look at this, guys. We are being overrun. We need to get the hell out of here and quickly. They're gonna get Ember 1, too. They actually, look at that, they just ended up shooting one of their own men, so this is a fighter frenzy. Um, at this point, they're doing everything they can to get us to such an extent that they're shooting some of their own fighters. I'm pretty sure one of these bullets will hit us, though. Again, it's getting to that point where it's extremely close um, to being a mission fail. If that exit wasn't this close, I don't think we'd have any chance whatsoever. Islamic Emirate fighters close with the kinetic force, determined to clack off their S-Vests after they are engaged or attack. I think you guys can assume what that S-Vest is for. Um, and again, we need to get to that exit. I'm going to have to head out with the troops first. They'll have to take the first shots. <sighs> Oh, and look at that, a suicide vest just exploded behind them. That can absolutely happen there. The wiring is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and at this point, I am going to try to get that Emir out of here. We need to react quickly, though, to the enemy right here. And we'll absolutely just return fire, try to knock these guys down. Frankly, the enemy force has done more for us than our own force has. Ah, that was a mistake! We did end up getting the shot unbelievably because the enemy is kind of losing their minds here. Walk up on them and kill them. I think I should mention that these are sort of the initial missions of the actual competitive uh, mode or the mission mode. Um, and so it looks like the enemy is just not nearly as trained here as they should be. So I'm going to get that Emir to the exit. Emir is out. And that's going to be it, guys. A PMZ, PMC victory, I should say. Uh, murder is the new black. <laughs> And a victory is a victory. We got out of there. We got extremely, and I mean extremely lucky. Typically, when I was doing, if I was playing this on my own, I would have lost at least two team members. But the enemy was so frenzied, so desperate to kill us, so afraid of losing that Emir, that they actually ended up killing quite a few of their own guys. And that suicide vest explosion at the end was unbelievable. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy these games, make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Especially controversial stuff like this. It's often not well liked by the folks above, um, so keep that in mind. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next mission.